So now we can start with the retrofit. So the retrofit needs three things. First one is a model class. Second one is an instance of retrofit. And final one is an interface that can be impossible API calls. So here for this application, we already create the model class. Now we need to create a class that return an instance of retrofit. So create a new Java class. I name it as API client. Uh, in this class, create some variables. First, we have to specify the base URL for the application. <coughs> Here it is calories app. Uh, this is the base URL. We can check it. So inside the uh, root directory of ARM server, we have a folder called the calories app. So this is our base URL. So here I use the IP. We have to specify the IP for access localhost. So here uh, we are going to use an Android virtual device for testing this application. So we have to use the IP 10.0.2.2. So this is the default IP used by all the Android virtual devices to access the local host. So this is our base URL. Now create another variable. It is an instance of retrofit. I name it as retrofit. Now we have to create a method that return an instance of retrofit. It is a static method. Here the returned IP is an object of retrofit. I name it as get API client. Here I'll check some condition if the profit is null. In that case, we need to initialize that object. So the profit equal to new profit builder. Now pass the base URL. Here the base URL available on this variable base URL. Now specify the converted factory, add converted factory. Here we are going to use the JSON converted factory and call the create method on it and finally call the build method. So this will return an instance of retrofit and finally we need to return that instance from this method. So this is the class that return an instance of retrofit. Now we need to create an interface that contains possible API call. So right click the package and create a new Java class. I name it as API interface. Now change this one into interface. So you can place any method for possible API call within this interface. So here all the methods have one return type called an object of call class. And here the expected value, expected return type is a list of object and that object corresponding to the class API client. So here the expected value is a list of calories class object. Now specify the method. Here I specify the method name as get calories info. So this is our method. So all method inside this interface must have an annotation that represents possible HTTP operation. So here we are going to use the get method. So specify the get method annotation. And each of these annotations represents possible endpoints of the API. So in our case, the endpoints is a PHP script. The script name is getcalories.php. So this is our endpoint. So this one represents our endpoint. 
So for this get the request we have to pass some parameter. So here we have to pass the parameter using the query annotation. So specify the query annotation. And here the parameter type is parameter name is item type. So this is the parameter name. Now specify the value for it. So this is the interface method that we are going to use use to make the API call. Okay, now go to the list activity .java. Here we have to declare some variables. First, some variables for recycler view. I name it as a recycler view. Now we need some variables for layout manager. We need some variables for list that contain a number of calories object. I name it as calories. Now we need some adapter for the recycler view. I name it as adapter. Okay, now we can initialize these variables. First one is a recycler view. I cast that one into recycler view. Now find it. Now initialize the layout manager. So the layout manager for the recycler view. Now add one more parameter to the recycler view. Set it has fixed size into two. So here we have to check some condition. Get the intent. So get intent dot get extras not equal to null. In that case, we have to get that information from the indent. Type equal to get indent dot get text class dot get string and specify the key for it here this type now we have to fetch information from the server using retrofit so here i create a method for that fetch information And this method need one parameter so from this method from the if loop we can call that method fetch information and pass the type to that method so here we need some more variable API interface I name it as API interface now initialize that variable from here API interface equal to API client dot get API client call the create class and pass the interface class name here now we can call the API method so for return for getting the result we need some call class object that contain a list of calories class calories class object I name it as call now call that method get calories info and you have to pass the type now we can handle the result So here we have a two callbacks method on response and on failure. So inside on response, 
we can get the information so we are going to save the information to this list calories so response dot body now we can set the adapter for the recycler view so adapter equal to new recycler adapter first parameter is a list of object these calories now we have to specify the context here the context is list activity dot this and finally we can set the adapter for the recycler view so recycler view dot set adapter and pass the adapter so this is our application now we can test it okay now we can run our application run it select a virtual device now the application available on this virtual device now try to get some fruit information now try to get some vegetables information so this is how we send a get request with some parameters i hope you understand all these concepts to get more retrofit tutorial please subscribe this channel thank you for watching see you in the next episode